Hello and welcome back to this video. Uh, this video is all about the alpha beta campaigns and what they are. And it is one of my uh, favorite ways of setting up campaigns. And in fact, all of our campaigns now are set up uh, this way. So I'm going to show you how and what it is. So it's a great way to maximize your profits and alpha beta campaigns will help you identify your winners and the losers and by that i mean keywords because what we want to do is to bid more for the better performing keywords and kill the keywords which are losing us money or are not performing but it does need a bit more work but once it's set up you will reap great rewards so most people don't do this work up front because they feel or think that it's too much work but trust me the way i'm going to show you it's going to be super simple and easy for you to get started with setting up your alpha beta campaigns so we start off with beta what is a beta campaign um, beta campaign identifies profitable search terms and eliminates or tries to eliminate uh, unprofitable search terms so we need to find these from our search term report and the alpha campaign is the campaign of the winners uh, here we move all the profitable or high converting keywords into its own campaign which we call alpha and this will isolate all the winners from the losers and I'm going to show you how to set up the alpha beta campaigns in, in the forthcoming videos. So let me give you an analogy so you understand the concept of the alpha beta campaign. So let's assume we have a sporting club. It could be any club, you know, football, or cricket or rugby or any other kind of uh, sports club. The structure of every sports club is, is more or less the same. We have the first 11 or the first team where all the best players are selected. But then there are lots of other uh, teams below the first 11. So we have the second 11, the third 11, possibly a juniors or under 19 team or an academy team, right? And all these teams will feed players or the best performing players to the first 11 teams right so let's assume the players are our keywords so this team will have the best players i.e if this was our campaign i want all the best keywords in my campaign but i can't stop running this campaign or that campaign or this one or that one just because they are not performing at the best because they will always have one or two players from these teams who will eventually graduate to the first team so what i want to do is my first 11 to be the best and the strongest to win the match and this is what we call our alpha or the alpha team or the alpha campaign where we've got the strongest possible chance of winning the match or beating our competitors with our strongest uh, players or keywords so i hope you start to understand the structure of why we want to isolate the best keywords into its own campaign but then can't afford to stop running these ones because just because they are not the best we need to keep looking we need to keep running these teams as well or these campaigns which will start to give us uh, better keywords and players and start to push them into our uh, first team Unfortunately, most of the campaigns which I see are set up like this. Everybody in a single campaign. So all the best 
keywords and the not so key not so good keywords are in the same campaign and this eats up our budget the performance is not very good because if you mix you know three uh, good players with a uh, lots of average players in your team your team will never win and the same is uh, the same applies to uh, any campaign we can't have the best performing keywords with the not so best performing keywords so we need to isolate them and i'm going to show you how we do that by setting up an alpha beta campaign so i hope you understand why we need to isolate our winners from the rest of the keywords so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one